All right, what's up everybody? Jason Page here, lightpaintingphotography.com. Today I'm gonna to show you a little bit about making an orb. Number one, to create an orb, you have to have a light source on a string, on a uh, something you could spin around like this. Uh, this is a very simple one to make. It's just a holiday light string, LED light string that's uh, just taped up. You tape over the other ones. There's a tutorial on this on the, uh, on the site. I'll link you to that so you can see how to make this very easy orb maker. There's two techniques to making orbs. The first one is going to give you a three-pointed orb or an orb with three bright spots where it's going to be the top. There's going to be two bright spots on the top and then one down at the bottom. The other uh, orb making technique is going to give you two bright spots, one at the top and one at the bottom. Uh, the first one is... The first way to make your orb is when you're actually you physically stay in the same spot and spin the light around. So you're spinning and turning like this. All right. That's the first way to make an orb. That orb is going to give you three bright spots. One down at the bottom and then two up at the top. The other way, it's a little bit more difficult to do to get a good orb, a good symmetrical orb. But the other way to do it is you choose a spot on the ground. You can drop a penny, you can drop you know, a stick, a sticker, whatever you're, wherever you're at, you choose that spot, you just make a mark on the ground, and you go over that same spot, over and over, keeping it centered, like this, okay? By keeping it centered, you're creating the orb that has the two bright spots to it. It's gonna be one at the top, one at the bottom. A very symmetrical um, orb is kind of difficult to do to get those spots just dead on takes a lot of practice but you can get it done right um, definitely check out some of the uh, light painting artists on the page where they have mastered this technique I am by no means a uh, master of this technique but I'm trying to give you the general idea of how this is done so now I'm going to try and uh, try and create the uh, first one which would be the three-pointed orb here we go get the camera all set up What you never want to do is what I just did, which is walk in front of the camera with the light source on. This is, uh, once again, see, you can flip this thing on and off, which is what you want. So, once this is done going, because I totally screwed that one up, I will try again <laughs> and uh, hopefully get it right for you this time. See how that turned out. Yeah, it turned out okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do the other one, which is where you're finding the dot and going over the same one. Once again, I'll show you these pictures close up in the uh, video. Why am I telling you that? I'm doing a video. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. Alright, let's see how that one turned out. There we go, that one's a little bit better. Once again, that's the two different ways to make orbs, uh, the two basic ways to make orbs. You can make all sorts of tools. You can use hula hoops that you actually twist. You want a very perfect orb, that's another thing that you can do, which I'll go over in another tutorial one day. Um, but for now, that's the two basic ways. The simplest light tool you can make right here, just some tape and a holiday light string, battery operated that you can turn on and off, which is very important, um, and the two different techniques. The other important thing that you want to remember is that you want to hold your hand when you're doing the orb and actually spinning it. You want to hold your hand the same height the entire time. So you just want to turn it, spin it, hold your hand the same height, and you'll be good to go. So. Once again, Jason Page from lightpaintingphotography.com. Please uh, comment on the post. Let me know how you used it. Post up some pictures, link to our Facebook, and uh, check out more tutorial videos. Spend some time online. And let the light painting artists know, you know that you are using their tools, their techniques, and uh, all that good stuff. So I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.